Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Moab, Utah for April action. This is one of those southwestern early in the season shows, and when everybody else in the country is just thawing out, these guys are kicking off the season. And let me tell you, Moab is a fantastic place. You got Arches National Monument, Canyonlands, and then you sprinkle six or seven hundred cars around the city park here in the center of town, and you got the makings of a really good time. Let's get around and check out some of these Utah rides. <laughs> Hey Jim, how you doing, man? Dennis, just fine. Glad you're at the show. Man, what a show! And what a show! <laughs> Jim, this is this is fantastic. When I was talking to you, you said, "Oh, you, you know, forget any other show this weekend. You got to come to Moab." That's right. You were right. Yeah. This is unbelievable. What the 19th, 18th year? 18th, 18th year. year. Yep. It started uh, with a bunch of guys, Rod Bender guys, car club, and they just got together, started doing the show. Started out small, of course, and then just yeah. drew to this. Well, you know, I mean. <laughs> This is a bit of an outpost here of it Moab, is. so is. people must be coming from, from quite a ways. You know, it's amazing. I mean, of course, through the Intermountain West, we get you know, all the people you know, from Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah, but we also get as far as way in the Northwest, like Seattle and, and uh, that area. Really? You're pulling from that far away? I got a guy came in this year from Louisiana. Wow. <laughs> he, he, he came in as El Camino all the way from Louisiana, <laughs> and, and a couple from Oklahoma. Well, you know, it's, well first of all, Moab is just such a stunning part of the world, part it of the is. United States, it's unbelievable. I've never been here before. And it's just, it's breathtaking. It, totally. I, you know, the, the scenery is just unbelievable. You know, so what a place to have a car show. And then, you know, the, the park here in town is a, is a perfect setting. It's it's cozy. I mean, everybody's in here, but everybody's having a good time. That's right. And, uh, you know, it's thanks to the city, and they, they make it happen with us, too. And it's just, you know, but more importantly, it's the people that come to the show. So we've had people come to the show every year for 18 years straight. It's just that <laughs> that's, popular. That's a testimonial right there. That is. But I and imagine a lot of people come here and make it, a, make it a vacation or make it several days. I mean, they don't just come for the show because there's just so much here. Well, they do, definitely. Uh, we've had people come here, you know, uh, some guy came in and brought his truck. He left early. I says, where are you going? He goes, I'm going four wheeler. And so, so, so he took a show truck and off he went. Wow, yeah. wow. So, Whenever, you know, the other thing I find is folks here are just so nice. This is a really nice part of the country too. Really good, good folks. It is. I mean, it's just a, you know, Moab has a big mix of people and uh, that's what gives it the nice flavor that it has because it started in the 50s with the boom that brought in a whole big mix of people from all over the United States. And uh, so, you know, it's, it, it's a great little town. Well, I talked to a lot of people who drove through snow to get here. I know, it's, it's amazing. It you know, snowed in Denver on Thursday, and, and people came over, and, and they were signed up on Friday. And I said, well, you know, I'm glad you came here. And they said, we wouldn't miss it. We don't <laughs> care. We'd, we'd come through anything to get here. We're coming to April we're, action. We're going to Moab. <laughs> we're going to Moab. Man, it really is fabulous all around. And we both got jobs to do, but let's That's check right. out some of these rides before we have to get down to work. Sounds good. All let's right, do let's it. go. Well, Thomas. This is a sweet little machine, 77 Toyota Land Cruiser, right? Yes, sir. These are tough little rigs. They are. And these things bring a pretty good price. They do. I mean, if they're, you know, if they're in good shape, they uh -huh. do. I mean, it's hard to find them in good shape. Did you, I mean, thing. did you buy this one this way? Absolutely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. <laughs> I'm surprised I made it from where I bought it to my house because it, <laughs> wow. it was rattling. And, and then did you do all the work on it? Yes, sir. Oh, is that what you do? Are you, do you build cars? No, or? this was a new thing for me. I, really? So yes. you learned on the job? Absolutely. Wow. Wow. That's a, you know, that's a lot of work, man. I guess I guess you know that. You know, I didn't realize how much it was until I got into it. And the more I took apart, the more I realized I had to take apart. And when I got to the axles, then I said, OK, now I can start back up. <laughs> <laughs> Two little jump seats. And is that, that's a heater back there? That's cool. That is a heater. Yep. It'll heat that thing up in no time. Man. And the jump seats fold up out of the way? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that's got to be kind of an interesting interesting ride back here. Uh, you know, you're sitting sideways and... Yeah, from what I hear, it's not very comfortable. <laughs> so <you're, laughs> on a rough road, anyway. You're going to take the driver's seat anyway, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> and how about these? These are... What are these for? Um, I guess that's their bumper, that's... so you don't hit the taillights and whatnot. Oh, wow. I mean... Wait, they're, so they're, but, they're uh, solid. Yeah, I feel sorry for whoever hits that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go look and see, and see what powers this, this uh, okay. little tank. 
So straight six. Straight six. And kind of an interesting air cleaner carburetor setup. Is that single barrel or? Uh, it's a double barrel. Two barrel. Two barrel, yep. Well cooled and everything. I imagine you've gone through the engine and everything. Totally redone, yes, sir. So she runs like a brand new 77. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I was born in 77, so I don't know what it ran like then. But, but I hear tell. I expect it runs It runs well. I know well, that. Close her up, man. This, this is really a nice ride. I, I've always liked these. And uh, like I said, I mean, they are getting really popular. You fit right in here. Yeah, I noticed the colors match too really well. <laughs> it's, right? it's like camouflage. Hey, yeah. Thomas, thanks for Thank bringing you. it out. Nice this is a great you. ride. 77 Total Land Cruiser. Next, we'll look at some really sweet machines in Moab, Utah. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Don, this is a, a really slick machine. I saw you rumbling around the streets, and I said, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta track this guy yeah. down. This is a 67. Ranchero, but a Fairlane Ranchero, Fairlane right? Ranchero. Now, how about the, the hood? That wasn't a stock hood or anything like that. The hood, the original hood was a flat hood, yeah. and I cut the center section out of it and bulged it and broke it in the front and added three inches on each side. Wow. So, I mean, is this original hood piece here? Yes. Wow, yeah. nice. Well, that's very creative, man. An interesting color, too. You've got some, you got definitely some metal flake in it. It's almost blue. Or is it? It's a it's a blue uh, glass pearl. Oh. It's, it's a, a glass flake. Man, I hadn't noticed that before. That's really, that is trick. Yeah. So there's not much uh, recognizable <clears throat> in the interior from a 67 uh, Fairlane Ranchero anymore. You've, you've pretty much done it all. Yeah, exactly. The dash itself was, I just remade the dash. It used to be a plastic dash, We the, the insert panel, and uh -huh. I made that out of metal and then put the, the new gauges in it, uh, the autometer gauges, oh, autometer. And, then, and then put the stainless steel insert into that. That, and that looks good. You I mean, I like the, you know, the kind of bold look of the autometers and then mm -hmm. B&M shifter there. Yeah. Uh, but you've uh, you've definitely beefed it up back here a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the the tonneau was basically I I looked and everything you see has always been the vinyl tonneaus. Uh huh. And I knew I was going to put the bars in there uh, for the tubbing when I tubbed it and everything. So I decided to what would be nice would be a, a steel tonneau. So that's what it is. Yeah, it's steel wow. tonneau. And, and does she does she lift up or yeah, is it sure. really heavy? No. Oh man, you got nicely sprung. Yeah. Oh, and it is tubbed. It is yeah, seriously tubbed, tubbed yeah. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, like I say, I, I heard you rumbling yeah. around. So there's something serious under the hood there. Is it, what'd you say, 428? 428. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's go have a look at that, baby. All right. Well, you got that nicely sprung too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a 428 Cobra Jet. Mm -hmm. That's really clean. What'd that come out of? 68 Mustang. Man, now if, <laughs> if, the rest of the car is any indication you've also uh, breathed on this a little bit too. Yeah, we tickled it a mite. It's, <laughs> it's in a full, you know, a full roller top, the H beam rods, Ross pistons. Uh, just keep on going. Whatever. <laughs> you name it, it's got. Whatever. It. It, yeah. So, what nice. kind of horsepower, roughly? We're say 600, but oh, it's. You know. That's probably enough to get it around. It'll move. It'll move a little bit. <laughs> hey, Don. Super. Thanks. I love it. Smoking 67. Smoking 67. Fairlane Ranchero. All right. Still ahead, we'll see what other cool rides made it out to Moab, Utah. Welcome back to My Classic Car. So, well, Bob, this is a really interesting car. It is very interesting. It's a 49 Simca? Yes. All right. Now, it's a... French car. It is a French car, but Simca was uh, the Italian uh, Fiat. I thought there was a name. Bit. Simca is a totally made up name. S I M C A was made up by Fiat when they moved to France in the 1930s. And they moved to France because the French government was taxing them export wise. So let's go to France. So they <laughs> essentially uh, got a factory outside of Paris and they started making a French Fiat and they made up the name of Simca. And that's what this is basically, a yeah. French Fiat. Yes. Styling wise, it looks like a 30s Ford, yes. a shrunken 30s Ford. Uh, that's because the French could not redesign their factories uh, after World War II. So they, they were, were broke. But I saw this earlier, you had it opened up. It's a suicide door without a post, right? Yes. Open up, let's look at the interior. Okay. So the back door, oh, yeah. and then if I can swing around, um, it was built That's uh, amazing. without a post. Yeah, and you updated the, the gauging and everything, but you kept a, still a really kind of a classic look. Yeah, what we tried to do was the spirit rather than the letter, and we tried to keep a 1940s look. Now, yes. the Simca would have come with some little four-cylinder yes. Fiat-esque yes. engine. Yes, which would not get me on a freeway, would kill me. <laughs> what okay. do you have in it now? We put in, um, uh, found a Triumph TR3, um, engine, frame, engine, transmission. 
And oh, running, the whole running the whole gear. running gear. Ah. So this is really a Triumph <laughs> sports car uh, that a f little French car has been set on. Well, I bet no Simc ever handled like this. Uh, no, <laughs> it's just a tremendous amount of fun. I a tremendous it's... amount of fun to drive. Well, Bob, beautiful car. Thanks Thank for you. bringing this baby out. 49 Simca. Wow. Well, Jessica, <clears throat> this is one bright Vega. You know, and I got to tell you, I don't think I've ever done a Vega on this show. That's so you... cool. I'm excited about that. <laughs> yes, you are the first. You're the first Vega. I'm very excited. But it's so wild. This is a what? A 72? It is a 72 Vega. Now you're out here in the West. These things were terribly prone to rust. Did you have a Western car, or was it really rusty? It was extremely rusty. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> Had to find different fenders. You know, mix really? and match. Oh yeah, patchwork. Well, so you know, you've kept you kept the body really stock vegan and yes. they, had, they had these louvers originally right yes nothing we did nothing different to the whole body style of it and it's a whole it's a hatchback right i mean this yes. whole area opens it, up it opens all the way up you know this these these took a lot of abuse in their day uh you know i mean it was a vega was oh a... i got to hear tons of stories about that all the time everybody's got a vega story oh yes there. everybody <laughs> This would have had probably a four banger to begin with, and yes. you don't still have that. No, what? I have I have a 350. I think 350. Okay, yes. well I see the side pipes. I figured you had something going on there. Let's yes. open it up and have a look. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. That's that fits nice. Doesn't oh, look. Oh yes. Was there any modification at all? Looks like it just no, dropped in. No, nothing. We not modified nothing. I mean, wow. when I drive it, I have to be real careful. My mufflers do drag, and so does my oil pad. So I have to be real careful <laughs> where I take it. Well, it's, it's really cool, Jessica, and you, you know, it's great that you're involved in the build, and I'm glad you're having such a good time with it. 72 Vega. Thank you. Screaming yellow. <laughs> Stay close. There's plenty more to check out in Moab, Utah. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Mitch, this is a stunning car. 50 Pontiac Silver Street. Yes. Fastback. Bass back. It's really a looker, and it looks to me like it's it's dropped a little bit in back. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, now this is your dad's car, actually, right? My father's car. Yes. He, now, why isn't he here? He uh, had some health problems. Had a hip replaced on Wednesday. It's the first time he's missed this show in 15 years. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. at least his car didn't. No. Yeah. We're lucky to have had the ch uh, chance to bring it down and enjoy it. Oh, she's an absolute beauty. Now, he, did he build it? Yes. I love the color combo. This is a blue that I don't even really recognize. I mean, what what? It's just a mix that he that he put together himself. It's he, an, eye, an eyeball yes, mix. Yes, yes. Wow. And then it goes so nice with the silver. I mean, the, the combination of the two is great. And of course, the, the thing about the Pontiacs, the chrome bars, the silver streaks, right, just right. really make this thing look sweet. And the dash is to die for. I mean, I, 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 I love the style to begin with. And then he was able to keep the, uh, the pods and update it with uh, some modern gauges. Yeah, he, like, again, it, he wanted to keep it as original as he could for the 50s look and not customize it too much, and he just updated it so it would be a good, dependable cruiser. So you, so you actually knew what was going on and yeah, you could actually use yeah. it. And is that center, is that the speaker? That for is the, original? the speaker, yes, yeah, the original speaker. <laughs> that looks <Yeah>. good. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Now, what engine would this have had to begin with? It had an inline eight cylinder motor. Okay. But you don't have that anymore? No, no. It's got a small block 350 Chev with a 400 turbo trans. Let's go open it up. Okay. That's a 350 Chev. 350 Chev, small block. And did it go in pretty easy as far as you know? Yeah, yeah. He made some adjustments for motor mounts and transmission mount. But other than that, it was, yeah, plenty of room. Went right in. Man, stunning. Well, you know, your dad does nice work. He does. He does. I'm lucky to be able to share it with him. And I think uh, he'll get a kick out of seeing it on TV. Yep, I hope he so. He knows you've got it today, right? Yes, he okay, does. Okay, good. Yes, he does. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Thanks for bringing it Thank up. Thank you, Dennis. 50 Pontiac Silver Streak. Thank you. Low and slow. <laughs> oh, man. We had a blast here at the April Action Car Show in Moab, Utah. This is a fantastic event, and Moab is an unbelievable destination. But if you come, make sure you bring your mountain bike. You don't want to miss it.